Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you very quickly how to use the drag and drop section found here in the top left hand corner of your screen. Now we do already have a video that kind of goes over this, but we've had a few requests to see it again in a bit more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So I already have my song here with all my chords. I'm ready to go and render this. So in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead up to the top bar here, the black one that shows all the different instruments in my song. These will reflect the legacy tracks you have here in your mixer. So uh, if you see that the names are different for your song compared to what's in this demonstration, that's perfectly normal. I want to use the master um, section here and because I want all of the tracks together as one file for for dragging and dropping into my DAW. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and press with my left click on my mouse and hold it and you'll see the circle with the slash come up through it and you can go ahead and drag and drop that over whichever format here that you want to use. I want my file to be a WAV file when it's done rendering, so I'm just going to go ahead and release my hold on the left click over top of the WAV section. So this will turn orange when it's processing your request, and you'll see that uh, light up there on your screen telling you the progress, and when it's done in the top left, you'll see that that section you dropped it into will now be green. That means that your song is rendered and ready to be dragged into your DAW of choice. So something to keep in mind as you left click and hold again, just like you did before without releasing, is that uh, not every DAW is going to have drag and drop as something it accepts. So you'll just want to make sure that your DAW has this capability first before you go ahead and drop it in. Uh, I'm using real band just as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and hold that over top of uh, the real band icon at the bottom of my screen. And I'm going to drag and drop it onto a track. So I'm just going to use this empty track here, and when I'm ready to let go, I'm just going to release that left click. Great, so you see the waveform pop up here, everything's good to go. Uh, you can zoom in or out on your mouse for real band to kind of see more of that uh, up close. But let's say that you want to uh, do just guitar one here. And let's say maybe you want to do it uh, as, a, as an mp3. So I'm going to click and hold it just like I did before because I want this instrument isolated so I can do some uh, mixing and mastering in my DAW. I'm going to drag it over to mp3. And uh, doing the single instruments will render faster than the whole track, but as you notice, or the whole uh, song itself with all the individual instruments, but you'll notice that it, it uh, doesn't take very long with uh, either method, so um, you should be able to, to fly through that regardless. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and hold that again, and just drop it into the next free track that I have. So that's great, so that's popped up there. Um, so this top one here is my full mix, and then the bottom one here is just the individual instrument. So master, individual. Let's say you want to know where these files are being stored. Where, where are they rendering to in case you ever uh, want to find them again? So I'm using a Windows computer and uh, this will be relevant for Mac uh, to a degree as well. But for me, uh, the, the folder that these are stored in are going to be in my BB folder. For Mac, uh, that's going to be your band in a box folder on your computer. I'm using an external hard drive for Windows, uh, the Ultra Pack Plus on my D drive. So I would have to navigate there first through File Explorer to find that. If you're on Mac, it's going to be through Finder. And you'll want to, uh, if you're using an external hard drive, check under your devices. Uh, or if you have it installed on the internal uh, in, internal hard drive on a Mac, you'll want to use the uh, applications folder and check for band in a box in there. But once you locate your program folder, you can just double click on it to open it. 
and inside of that directory you will find the drag drop folder. So double click on that and you'll see the songs or tracks that you just rendered will be here. So this was the first one that I did that was the, the master here and uh, this one is the most recent one which is the uh, just the guitar that I rendered. These files won't automatically delete out of here, so if you're doing a lot of drag and drop, uh, all of those files will be stored in here. So if you want to free up some space because the, the drive that you have the program, uh, the program installed to, if you just want to delete those, uh, if you don't need them anymore, let's say you've uh, finished with the project and you don't want those raw files anymore or you just want to move them to a different location, you can completely do that. That's perfectly safe. And uh, once you've made your copies, if you still need them, you can just go ahead and uh, delete them when you no longer need them. It's not going to hurt your, harm your program to, to do that at all. So there's absolutely no worries there. And that's pretty much the rundown of the drag and drop feature.